Hey guys, it's Sam coming to you from Vienna, Austria. We're about one week into quarantine. Um, so Vienna has been pretty much shut down. Uh, everybody's doing work at home that can and we're all asked to stay inside as much as possible. So today we are feeling a little restless. So before the big lockdown happened, um, we kind of were anticipating that this was gonna happen and stores are closed and everything. So we went to our local like home improvement store and picked up a ton of supplies to paint our walls. Uh, we're just basically doing like a fresh white coat on everything just because our apartment looks pretty lived in and it needs a little bit of freshening up. We have a whole bunch of paint supplies here and we got our white paint and we're gonna be tackling our front room first. Um, I think it's just the easiest little section to do in here. And also we're not in here so much, so if we mess up, it's kind of okay. As you can see, it's uh, needing a little bit of a fresh coat of paint. And Val is already in the other room working on patching some pieces of the wall. How's it going? The walls are going almost. That's working so much better. Make it smooth. Yes, so we're trying to take advantage of this time at home to do a little DIY, fixing things up. Ooh, uh, I do have one DIY that I'm very proud of, and it is this macrame. I actually took a macrame class about two weeks before this whole quarantine happened, and luckily I picked up all the supplies to do it as well. So I've been <laughs> entertaining myself with making some macrame and fueling my plant obsession even more because we got more plants to hang up here. <laughs> but this is kind of what it looks like. And what I've done for this one is I made it super, super long so it could hang at a height that I really wanted for the room and so that I could get my table side back because it was getting pretty crowded with the plant. What I did is I hung the little water cup right below it. And if you saw my last video, I mentioned this little like water tap system that we found at our home improvement store. So there's a clay tap that's in there and then it can still get the water from here when it needs it. So I think it's working pretty good so far. So I think might hang some more plants up in our corners here. My desk is a little chaotic. I have basically my craft corner, my home office, my plants, and then our TV for at night because this is also our bedroom. We're gonna do a little home makeover. <laughs> That's what you could do with that. Like add the broom in there. Yeah. <laughs> green, what green? The wall, is it always green? Yeah, I guess so. Just never seen this color because it's always too dark. It's always really dark in here, but now we have the light up to help see a bit better. <laughs> we got brushes. I see the tab here. I just oh, get the edges. Okay, so watch. It's very drippy. Moment of truth. See how close of a white it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's already looking so much better. <laughs> Ooh. 
don't think we need much. Like it covers pretty. It really easily. seems one coat is. Yeah, that's good. I think I can apply my experiences from painting mirrors to wall painting. <laughs> sure. When you get there, I want to film it because that's the good part. <laughs> the super satisfying part. It looks so nice. <laughs> bunch of walls done. Val is cleaning up our brushes now because we definitely need to take a little bit of a break. But we did six-ish, like six small walls basically. And I don't know if it's gonna pick up that wall on camera, but it looks so much better and so much cleaner in here. I feel like you can see best the before and after in this area here. This is like kind of like our storage area where we painted all this area. We haven't finished painting this area and you can see a huge difference. So this is first coat of paint and here is what it was before so this is an especially rough area because this is where we store stuff so it's a lot of in and out and like shoes kicking around in here and like objects being moved in and out but oh my god look at this huge difference so that was kind of all scattered around in some way in the apartment like that so it's already looking so much nicer but I do have to say, like, this paint doesn't really smell that bad at all, which is awesome. We have a pretty small apartment, so, you know, we have our windows open. But it's nice that this, the fumes aren't so bad that we wouldn't want to be able to, like, pass through this room and stuff. It's all good. So the walls still need to dry a bit, so we're going to take a break. And we'll see how it looks in a little bit. So this is usually where our dining table goes. And we have our couch area here, which will move all this stuff away as well. It's kind of crazy, the more you look, the more you see. Like this area, I'm so excited to paint because whatever furniture was here from the last way the apartment was set up, it just left so many marks on the wall. So excited to paint this.
Okay, so finished up all the painting. Uh, it basically was about three days that we kind of took to kind of casually do this. Yeah, we basically stopped when we ran out of paint. So we managed to get our little entranceway and then the main walls in here done, which really needed it. The rest of the apartment really didn't need that much, so I think we're pretty happy with what we were able to do with the supplies that we got. We did leave the tape up on the top, uh, if you might see it in the clips, just because if we do get some more paint, we want to maybe do this wall once more because we kind of learned how to do the paint strokes properly a little bit late. We were using our paint pretty sparingly since we didn't have that much, we realized uh, when we started painting this room. So we just want to have the option if we do paint some more. <laughs> yeah, but it was a nice way to go through our living room and see if we want to rearrange some things. Now we have this little coffee table and we rearranged our bookshelf so that it was up higher instead of uh, this little makeshift bookshelf that we have now. Of course, we can't really go to any furniture shops and get some more things that we'd like to put in. So for now, it's just nice to kind of like rearrange everything and make it feel a little bit new. And it feels so much brighter in here and so much just like cleaner and, and it feels really nice to have this all totally done. <laughs> One of the things that I did notice while we were doing this, because we were actually painting pretty much without music and anything, is just how quiet the city has gotten. You don't hear cars outside. You don't hear anybody coming in and out of the building anymore. There's no airplanes going overhead. The quietest the city has ever been. Like, it's really different. Yeah, just one of the weird things that we kind of noticed while we were doing this project. But yeah, we're super happy how it came out. It was pretty satisfying for us to finally go over these big markings that we have looked at for like a whole year now. I hope you guys also enjoyed. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.